G'day race fans, uh, Adam Woolley here with uh, Wings and Wheels. Today I want to tell you about this uh, great uh, product that uh, Sean sells, it's called the V-Seal Tape. What it basically is, is uh, mylar, uh, which has a, a thin uh, slit down the centre of it, and uh, on the back of course your typical uh, double-sided uh, tape. So what you'd normally do, and of course you can buy this product uh, for this purpose as well, is um, to put on your rudder. So put uh, obviously the sticky side on your uh, fin post and then the rudder butts up against it and uh, provides this fantastic uh, seal of your, of your uh, towel section of the glider. The other purpose for it, which is what I'm gonna show you today, is uh, to use it in reverse. And when it goes on your canopy, it, uh, it typically uh, squeezes shut and uh, gives your uh, cockpit this amazing uh, seal. So overnight, uh, what you'll um, find is uh, that your cockpit uh, will go from what you thought was quiet to whisper quiet. Um, I've uh, got some here on the front of my uh, uh, canopy and, uh, and also on the back. Typically the back is where the noise is. Um, and, uh, so I would start with just the back part and then it would go for a test flight and if you uh, find uh, that it's still noisy you can try the front. Um, I didn't do this, I just went both straight off the bat um, but uh, I probably will peel the front one off because I don't think I need it. Um, go for a test flight, uh, if it's still quiet then I'll leave it off. The uh, reason is of course there is a fraction amount of drag there with a small lip. Um, but uh, it is uh, a high pressure area there, so it'll um, reattach real quick. But anyway, the key point is the back. And of course, you've got to complicate uh, a, a real hardcore sort of curve here. And uh, typically, um, your mylar would bend and ripple and all this sort of stuff. What you've got here is the mylar, which you can see gives this amazing tight fit and of course the back is no different um, but yeah the problem area is typically it's typically this curve here all the straight bits is easy but the curved bits is the hard bit but as you can see it's really tight it's really sweet anyway let's um let's try and put it on one thing of course you'll uh, want to do is uh use some uh, shellite turps that sort of thing and obviously just give her a bit of a clean then of course you'll uh, have to do the natural thing of uh, just measuring it up which I've uh, obviously already done uh, prior give it a little uh, snip of course one thing you'll notice in the uh, V seal though it's got this little tiny this little tiny lip here it's about uh, two mil so all I'm gonna do with that just so it's not sticking up in the airflow is uh, snip it off so as you can see uh, here so as you can see here it's uh, about that wide so all we're doing is just going to take that little lip off so of course the, uh, the starts the really easy bit just find your uh, point on the uh, canopy that where you want to start and what I'm doing there is of course you can see the uh, the backing tape here and you can naturally see the uh, the, the uh, canopy uh, line so all I'm aiming to do is to put uh, this backing strip right on this, um, right on the uh, the canopy brake line, and it's uh, as I said, it starts very easy because you've generally got a nice, pretty much a straight line. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, peel off the back and get a good firm stick here, and uh, then I'll get back to you. So here we are. Let's uh, start it off putting the final the little on the line so when you when you when you get closer what you can uh, see is that the um, the cut line you want to put right on the uh, the canopy line so all I'm gonna do is just get a good first stick something like this not too worried about this uh, point here but it seems like I got lucky but anyway all I'm gonna do later is just just chamfer that off and it'll be good. So now that I've got a good firm stick, what I do is I take a, a long piece off it. And the reason for this is so that I can uh, hold it uh, really firm, really tight to, to pull the pressure on it. So what we do now is we just follow the light around, pulling lots of tension on the, on the V-seal. 
and just follow the very small cut here, the very small cut along the canopy edge all the way around and it just bends perfectly to the canopy. So, and of course just attention to detail is what you want here. It's okay to pull it back. I'm not sure if you can see how much weight I'm pulling but I'm pulling a fair bit now. And as you can see it's giving a really really sweet uh, really sweet uh, touch onto the canopy. So I'm just going to uh, follow that all the way around. I'll show you another view now and uh, let's uh, see the final touch, the final finish later. So as we did before, just big long line uh, of removing the backing just to uh, get rid of it out of, um, so you can pull lots and lots and lots of tension. And uh, as I said earlier, it's okay to uh, constantly reseat the V seal. So as you can see here, uh, you can see the uh, black canopy line there. So that's where I'll put the slit all the way around. Always pulling tension, always looking into the light and looking down and just twisting, pulling it over. And as you can see, there is not a ripple here. It's a real sweet flush fit. Now the now we'll just uh, get the uh, now we'll just get the tester tape, and this will just uh, go over the top, give a nice uh, nice final finish. Thank you very much to Ivan who lent me this glider today, and just to show you how the VCL sits. So you can, you can clearly see there that it's now got this, um, using that uh, cut in the, the V-seal, that it pulls itself down. And uh, as you can imagine, when we drop it onto the uh, glider properly, that's not even locked. And look at that. Just beautiful. Anyway, get yourself some uh, V-seal and uh, you'll definitely 100% guaranteed see the difference uh, in the, uh, the cockpit ceiling and uh, the quietness of your glider.